Starting a creative career is difficult. It's difficult, I think, for one reason, and that's the time that you spend on certain aspects. At the start, when you don't have any projects or experience, you have to network like crazy. So you can meet people and hopefully find your first paid opportunity as soon as possible. At the same time, you're practicing your skills, right? You're making sure that you are prepared so that you, when you do get this project, you have everything that you need and you know how to tackle it. And of course, when you're spending time on one, you can't spend time on the other. So it's about splitting your time in the best possible way. The mistake that I made, at least, was when I first started, I was networking like crazy. I found my first project, and at which point I didn't have time to practice my skills, or I didn't make time to practice my skills, and I didn't make time to continue networking. The hope is that you find a project that is super successful and it kind of solidifies your reputation straight away. Great, and they do exist. However, people don't come flooding in afterwards, like begging for your services. And I kind of thought quite arrogantly that that might happen after my first project. And it didn't. And when it didn't, I got frustrated because then I realized I wasted so much time not networking and not finding the next opportunity. So there was this kind of big gap in between, at which point I picked up more steam with the networking again, built up more momentum and then found the next projects and then kept it going. So that balance, I think, is really difficult making sure that we split our time evenly. So really, the, the most important thing is at the start, at the, at the very start anyway, is to make sure that we split our time 50-50, 50% networking, 50% practicing our skills or working on projects. That might seem like a lot, it might seem drastic, but the most important thing we have to remember is finding the next opportunity, is networking with people in our sphere so we can be pushed in a new direction or get mentorship or get help and advice. And without that feeding our actual work, we're gonna suffer but that balance is really difficult to find this morning I just spent um, a couple hours recording a video just one video it took me that long to set things up okay there was a new process I had to learn and everything but that's a lot of time and that video is gonna help for many reasons it's gonna help people who need to learn stuff about what I'm teaching so it's helpful I'm contributing to the community which I'm really happy about At the same time it takes time away from my project my work which means i don't have time to network as much as i would today or work on a current project as much as i would and although my reputation is going up with the video being out there because I'm, I'm being seen as somebody who's sharing and giving to the community and clients love that by the way clients will see oh this person is heavily embedded in their industry in their side of things they must know what they're talking about but of course it took me two hours to film it i haven't even edited yet um so it's an interesting balance. I don't know if there's a perfect solution, perfect formula, but definitely at the start, considering how you can split your time evenly between networking and practicing, I think is very important. I think it's difficult to network. Networking is always difficult and there's so much resistance. We don't want to do it, but we have to make sure we remember that that is the most important aspect of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep blogging like this, kind of like thoughts and everything that kind of come to my head every day. There's a lot that I want to get off my chest and talk about. Hopefully that's of interest to people. Um, if not, I'm just going to ramble and record these videos on my phone and nobody will watch them and it'll just be self-care for me.